Hey everyone, so I wanted to give an update on what I've been doing around my in-vehicle tablet experience that I built a while ago. You can see the original video here, um, but over the past year or so I've really started to um, start wanting a, a larger tablet um, and have a, lot, a tablet that is just much faster and has a lot more RAM for quickly switching between applications. So I finally found a, a great tablet in the, the Tab S3, the Galaxy Tab S3 from Samsung. Um, it's got LTE, it's got four gigs of RAM, and it's very easy to root, which was one of my big requirements in order to pull off a lot of the tricks I'm doing with a lot of the hardware. So um, this is a, a fantastic tablet and it's really started to um, uh, make this experience exactly the way I wanted it. So um, I also have a new piece of hardware here. This is the 8-BitDo SNES uh, Bluetooth controller. So it's connected to the tablet via Bluetooth Bluetooth, um, and it stays charged. I have a, a cable here that's plugged into a USB port on the car, so it stays charged and connected to the tablet, uh, which is great. Um, and what this allows me to do is, this is a much bigger improvement over the mouse that I was previously using for the Nexus 7 2013, because there's a lot more buttons, um, and the buttons are placed out a little bit better, so it's even more effortless to control the tablet via this device as well. So this was a huge find. I absolutely love this thing and it works very, very well. Um, you do have to load a custom firmware on this though, so that it will um, use keyboard commands instead of the typical joystick controller. Um, but it's pretty easy to do and I plan to do a how-to video of all of this. Um, so stay tuned for that. But uh, as before, I can jump between the different tablet. I never have to touch the screen. That was one of my big design goals for this. Um, I can just quickly jump in and out of these different applications uh, very effortlessly, all through just touching buttons on the controller itself. Um, and like before, I can uh, I can scroll around inside of Spotify very very easily, go into uh, playlists, start, uh, start songs. Um, I can you know press buttons inside of Spotify because all of these different buttons are remapped per the application that you're actually in. So if I want to start playing this song and just pull down on this joystick here and I'll auto start playing, all the steering wheel controls still work as well. So I can increase the volume. I don't want to do it too loud, of course. Um, but I got volume control here. Um, I can jump and back and forth between tracks with this as well. So you can start this song. When I was Fortunately, this song has a large buildup, as do a lot of the songs I listen to in Electronica. So I built a sort of a Wadsworth feature. So if I just press uh, this button here, you'll see it jump to the 33% mark of the song. So I can just quickly get into a lot of the songs that have these long buildups um, in Electronica, which is uh, which is awesome. Um, but let's say I want to, uh, you know, one of the big big key things inside of an in-vehicle tablet is uh, Google Maps. And so now I've remapped shortcuts uh, directly to a lot of the, my favorite uh, POIs, like work. Um, so if I just tap and hold this button, it'll actually launch Maps and launch directly to um, to work, which is fantastic, or home or other uh, other areas as well. Um, and when you're inside of Google Maps, uh, you know I still remap the button so I can look at my route overview. Um, if I tap this, you'll see my exact route overview. Uh, I can recenter. Uh, very easily as well, so that the map will recenter or just cancel out completely. Um, but one of the big things that I want to do, well, we'll go back to that actually, is one of the now with NuGet and Android 7 with multi window, I really wanted a quick way to get to multi window. So if I tap and hold this, I'll actually start multi window. Um, and if I want Spotify, for example, then I can just click Spotify, and now I'm actually multi windowed Spotify and Google Maps. Uh, now one thing I have to touch the tablet for is to make this uh, at 33%, but if I do that, I can still control Spotify um, directly from here. So now I have Google Maps and Spotify in full control uh, over both of these, um, yeah, these different applications with multi-window. If I ever want to, I can just quit multi-window very quickly by tapping and holding again and I'm back to Google Maps, which I find absolutely awesome. And this is one of, one of the big upgrades uh, really with the larger tablet experience that we have and uh, um, you having a lot more RAM. So uh, I'll go ahead and cancel this and go back. Um, one of the other things as well is I can I can fire off, just like last time, I can fire off a, a voice command at any time, anywhere throughout the, uh, the OS, just by pressing this button. So I can ask, what was the score of the Detroit Red Wings game yesterday? Detroit Red Wings lost to New Jersey Devils <laughs> of 4 course. to 3. Um, but yeah, no, this is this is fantastic. Be able to just fire off uh, any sort of Google um, Voice uh, search, so I can ask it for directions. It'll just auto launch Google Maps and all that kind of stuff very easily. Um, and the other thing is, I don't have to be inside of Spotify to change tracks or anything. I can be in Google Maps and I can forward through all the different tracks here and play on pause um, and that kind of stuff. So it makes it very easy. 
And of course, last but not least, um, I poured it over the, uh, the home automation stuff as well. So while I'm in the car and as I'm about a half mile away from home, instead of waiting to get in range for my garage door opener, I can, again, just fire off the, uh, the garage door from a, a specific button command uh, on the controller itself. So. Heaven, heaven, garage is opening. There we go. <laughs> uh, it just makes it uh, a pretty nice experience, you know. Uh, my garage door, as you can see, takes a while to open up, so half hour or uh, half a mile away from home, I can fire that off and then I can just pull right in uh, and be done. Anyway, I think that's about it. Um, again, I plan to do uh, a how-to video of this, um, so subscribe to my channel if you're looking for, for that. Um, to see how I, I remapped all the buttons and got all the stuff working. This has been about a four month project uh, to upgrade this to find the right hardware and, and write all the software and all that stuff up and running. So I'm um, happy to share that information. So if you're interested in doing something like this, then uh, uh, subscribe and uh, look out for that video. Appreciate everyone for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.